my friends, is the shower I've been waiting two weeks to have. I just spent $12 to have a shower at a truck stop. It was so satisfying to stand underneath there, underneath that hot water. It just was like relaxing and it felt so nice. But what is a shower? You're supposed to shower to be clean and you're supposed to feel clean afterwards. Well, let me tell you something. If I remove all the satisfactory feelings of having a shower and just get down to the nitty gritty of it, I feel just as clean right now as I have over the past two weeks boiling water out of a creek and sponge bathing myself down. So if you think showers are a 100% necessity, I don't know, I beg to differ. There's this little house down here there's not really a driveway that gets to it I really want to go down there but I'm not too sure if anybody's squatting in there but there is no road access to this thing there used to be at one point I'll show you guys that in a second that's the main highway up there I'm not really sure if anybody's in there everything seems to be shut Super curious, but I'm just not that brave. <laughs> There's the stairwell. And there's a little road that comes down, but the road stops at the train tracks. So if anybody lived here at some point, they would have had to have parked over there and walked across the tracks to get to the house. There's some more structures over here. You guys can see but right over there you guys see it the little movement right there there's a tunnel the train's coming through that mountain right now and out the other end of that tunnel so this looks like it's a native fishing ground because just the way those little structures are built hopefully you guys can hear me it's really windy the way the structures are built can you see that one oh can you see it right there <laughs> it's got the roof on it i'm guessing this would have been like an old native fishing ground that has not been used in a very long time Sometimes when you're roaming around places, it's time to go. <laughs> what creeps me out about here is that house next door. I got a funny feeling someone's, already, someone's inside of it still. There's garbage all over here. I am super curious. Nope, Chrome don't do it. found a little piece of gravel to pull over and sleep on nothing too fancy out there but I'm in my van here going through some old video footage and came across some stuff and I started to skip through it and realizing that I took a lot of things for granted and I think we all take a lot of things for granted especially now with all of the stuff that's going on in the world that 
those moments that we had before, I think we are going to cherish a lot more once things get back to the way they used to be, or hopefully the way they used to be. Um, let me share you guys a little moment I had with some new friends of mine, Michael and Steph, and then of course you guys know Madison and Rain. What's up you guys welcome to today's video and obviously we're at brewery number one and going on to brewery number two so you know who i'm with madison and rainer well rainer is technically the one who's responsible for me always going to brewery after brewery or is it me i'll never tell you guys i might be the bad influence here but i'm just gonna blame it on these two and we have some new friends with us here some some new friends i did a van <laughs> i did a van tour with these two beautiful people Hi. this is steph and this is Mike, and I just did their van tour, it's coming soon, and um, they live in that right there, I live in that right there, and those, whatever. <laughs> That's a house, it's not a van. Okay, squeezing in here. A night that seemed so simple in the moment while it was happening, you could do them all the time, so you took them for granted. It was just like, ah, had another day with my friends, this was fun. And that was it, that's all you chalked that night up, uh, up as was just a fun night. But when you look back at it in a situation like this, where you can't see your friends, you can't do those kind of things. The breweries aren't open. Life and the view you have on it changes. Those moments you wish you would have cherished a whole lot more. Thankfully, I've got them on video. I can go back and relive them and share them with you guys. And also have Mike and Steph and Madison and Rainer go back and take a look at that moment we all had together because we captured it on film, which is super awesome. But I think a lot of us right now are going to be cherishing each other a whole lot more once we get the chance to reconnect with each other. So maybe this whole crazy downside of the world right now is going to be a lot more positive and beautiful once it gets back to, I hate that word, normal. Because I'd do anything right now to be able to go out with some friends and sit at a brewery and just enjoy a night. Or go sit at a restaurant for breakfast by myself and just hear the people around me and just feel the energy that's in the air and the conversations and... And for me, I'm very much an energy guy and a sound guy. So, you know, being a DJ, I've always learned how to feel the energy in a room because that's what it's all about as a DJ is you feel the energy and you try to build up the energy in the room and the excitement. And I feel energy when I go into rooms. I feel like, okay, does it feel positive? Does it feel negative? Is it... Is it adding to my excitement? Is it pulling, like, is it sucking the life out of me? Because that would be like a negative energy in a room. And in a situation like that, when you're at a brewery, a little bit of background music, a little bit of ruckus and noise from the brewery itself because things are noisy back there. And uh, just the chatter from the conversations just behind you or off to the side of you. And then the conversation at your own table and the sound of clinking glasses, things like that or what make those moments so real. Well, now we can sit online and have a Zoom conversation with your friends and have a beer, 
it has the conversation, but it lacks the ambiance that pulls all of that stuff together. And some people may say, hey, it's the connection you have with your friend. I would say it's everything in that situation that brings that moment to life because that's why people go to places like that because it's the ambiance in the air and everything like that that makes those situations just a lot more connecting and a lot more memorable and a lot more real. And I'm hoping that once all this stuff goes back that we're all more connected to each other and we cherish cherish our friends, our our places we go and things we do a whole lot more because right now it feels like we've been stripped of that freedom you know um i know in van life i do have a little bit more freedom than those who are locked into their apartments um because you know i can choose to live on the side of a, like a cliff right now with nothing around me just gravel and dirt um but it's the freedom of like connecting with friends in a social atmosphere that I miss right now. I die right now to go out for breakfast with somebody at a little mom and pops restaurant. Oh, it'd be so beautiful. I love doing that stuff. Breakfast in a small town at a mom and pop shop. Awesome, because they're great conversation. Even if you go in there by yourself, because a lot of the mom and pop shops are like, hey, we haven't seen you in town. Are you new here? No, I'm just traveling. And then I explain to them my lifestyle. And before you know it, you've had a great half an hour long conversation. You've got your human interaction and connection. You feel good. You got nourished with some food and you're back on the road. I miss that stuff, man. So if you've got people around you right now, cherish what you've got now. And when things get back to normal, guys, go be social with your friends and connect with them and enjoy these businesses that have suffered right now. Because trust me, when... When the breweries go back open, I'm gonna be the first one in there enjoying myself a craft beer and supporting these businesses that very much need some love right now. All right, you guys. Sorry for this collage of a video, but just wanted to kind of share that moment with you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, by the way, we got some new merch on my store. So you guys have seen my peace, love, and weirdo shirt. Boom, this one is officially on my store. And there is an American version of this one, which might be on there if you click on my store right now not really too sure but we have a usa version this is the canada version hopefully you guys enjoy them i'm going to be getting stickers of all these things too soon but um links to those ones are down below you guys stay weird see you soon uh, uh, ah. call me a wash your hands bro <laughs>